हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ओ लास्ट स्टेंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इनकम इफेक्ट एंड इनकम कंजम्पन कार सो वॉट इज इनकम इफेक्ट इनकम इफेक्ट बेसिकली टेल अस हाउ कंजम्पन ऑफ गुड्स चेंज वेन इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर चेंज इनकम इफेक्ट बेसिकली टेल अस हाउ कंजम्पन ऑफ गुड्स चेंज वेन इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर चेंज और वी कैन से दैट इनकम इफेक्ट टेल अस हाउ increase or decrease in income can change consumer demand we can clearly understand income effect with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have x good and y axis we have y good here x and y both are normal goods this ab black one is our budget line this red one ic is our indifference curve at this e point budget line touch our indifference curve that's why e is consumer equilibrium point at this equilibrium point consumer is buying os quantities of x good and oy quantities of y good now suppose income increase as income increase budget line shift outward from ab to cd so cd is our new budget line ic1 is our new indifference curve which shows a higher satisfaction e1 is new consumer equilibrium point at this equilibrium point consumer is buying o x1 quantities of x good and o y1 quantities of y good you can see as income increase consumer increased demand of both good x good as well as y good he increased demand of x good from ox to ox1 and demand of y good from oy to oy1 because x and y both are normal goods and normal goods are those good whose demand increase as income of consumer increase for example clothing home appliances and electronics that's why as income increase consumer increase demand of both good x good and y goods now suppose income increase again as income increase budget line shift outward from cd to ef ef is our new budget line i c2 is new indifference curve e2 is new consumer equilibrium point at this equilibrium point consumer is buying o x2 quantities of x good and o y2 quantities of y good you can see movement from e2 e1 and e1 to e2 shows income effect movement from e2 e1 and e1 to e2 shows income effect because these movement basically showing how consumption of goods change as income change and this is our income effect which tell us how consumption of goods change when income change when we join all equilibrium point when we join all equilibrium point we will get our icc icc is income consumption curve or we can say that when we add different consumer equilibrium point we will get our income consumption curve or we can say that we will get our icc you can see slope of income consumption curve is positive that's why it will call a positive sloped income consumption curve now we are going to talk about negatively sloped income consumption curve we will clearly understand negatively sloped income consumption curve with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have inferior good and y axis we have normal good ab is budget line and ic is indifference curve at this e point budget line touch indifference curve that's why e is consumer equilibrium point at this equilibrium point consumer is buying ox quantities of inferior good and oy quantities of normal good now suppose income increase as income increase budget line shift outward from ab to c d c d is our new budget line i c 1 is new indifference curve e 1 is new consumer equilibrium point at this equilibrium point consumer is buying o x 1 quantities of inferior goods and o y 1 quantities of normal good you can see here as income increase consumer reduce quantities of inferior good from o x to o x 1 but increase quantities of normal good from o y to o y 1 as we earlier discussed consumer increase the demand of normal goods as income of consumer increase on the other hand inferior goods are those good whose demand fall as income of consumer increase inferior 
goods are those goods whose demand fall as income of a consumer increase because inferior goods are basically low price goods and when our income is low we look for cheapest option but when our income increase we look for expensive option for example when someone income is very low he usually buy non branded local shoes but when his income increase he stop buying local shoes he start buying branded shoes so we can say that as our income increase we reduce the demand of inferior goods and increase the demand of expensive goods now suppose income increase again as income increase again our budget line shift outward from cd to ef ef is new budget line ic2 is new indifference curve e2 is new consumer equilibrium point at this point consumer is buying ox2 quantities of inferior good and oy2 quantities of normal good and when we join all equilibrium point when we join all equilibrium point we will get our icc income consumption curve you can see slope of income consumption curve is negative so it will call negatively sloped income consumption curve this is all about income effect and income consumption curve i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care